Lynching, a Mongolian linguist, was the one who led the revival of the Yatak. In the 1950s, Mongolia and North Korea had friendly relations. Many Mongolians helped raise North Korean war orphans. They also had many cultural exchanges, and lynching was enlightened by one of these performances. Kim Jong-un was invited to Mongolia by the Mongolian government. He came with the 13 strings Hanjo Gayagam and started teaching professional Yatak players how to play. The general public started to show interest in the Yatak after a performance by his students. Kim jong ams students continued to pass on his techniques by putting their efforts into educating a new generation of Yatak players. Traces of Kim jong ams influence can even be found in the Yatak Manual, which is a beginner's guide to the instrument. Songs composed by Kim jong ams are included in this manual. The lively songs that Kim jong ams composed for his Mongolian students clearly show his love for his students. Narang Batar, a well-known Yatak player, was also one of Kim jong ams students. He formed a band called Soyul Erden with three other students. Solongs yatun der mana baksin zajis na rolot yatugoy will be was chakub tu chos karinte yatugoy kuches amara aisni tu oti hitu tiri hitir sa ding 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 ding. He resorted to showing us with just his hands. He remembers his teacher's techniques perfectly. Narang Batar says that he owes his talents to Kim Jong Am. We showed him a video from 40 years ago. His joy does not last long, and the memories of his teacher makes his eyes water. After watching the video, he was left speechless for quite a while. Kim jong Am was a teacher who had given him so much. Kim jong Am had taught him how to play the yatak. Thus, he was able to try unconventional music and become popular among the masses with the band Soyul Erden. He even composed a song in memory of his late teacher. He wanted to let the Mongolian people know about his teacher. Kim jong 
маягаар зааж Монгол маягаар зааж гэдэг чинь Монгол гэдэг чинь солонгос багшийн заасан тэр эрд мэл явж байгаа шүү тэр хүний Монголд бол энэ ятар хөгжмөн түүхэн байгуулсан байна яасар их юм He composed the song first known in memory of the seven years that he spent with Kim Jong-am. The song reminds him of Kim Jong-am's warm heart and passion and fills him with memories. Kim Jong-am's students dreamed of the day that they would meet again. However, Altang Tol received some heartbreaking news in 1997. The <laughs> хинэр хөвгтөд нь бас жоохон монголын бэлэг бэлтэд очсон чинь багш маань өөд болсон байсан гэдэг над хэцүү байсан. She did not even get the chance to say goodbye to him. That is why it hurts so much. Let's find out how the yatak techniques taught by Kim Jong-am are being put to use in the Mongolian art scene. This is a place where tourists come to experience traditional Mongolian music and dance. Tourists are very interested in the art of the free-spirited Mongolians who live on the Mongolian plateau, which is the heart of Eurasia. When the matugong, the most representative Mongolian instrument, is played, the audience falls silent. The yatak, a very familiar instrument, now appears on the stage. The yatak is acknowledged as the second most important Mongolian instrument. The first is the madungong. Yatakshig otsin darat ungin urchtim balzata hujin zimsik symphonic orchestra pakh. Tiemo chas yurose torn dakhni setilge hujmi setilge Mongol huni hujmi setilge yildu karakhat yatrin ter. Orang saya orang itu otsi ni, ikh tom orang saya di sini, terinerik, ikh dah sikit tu, itu hujung setitik orang yang bosan tu. This is the National Culture and Art University of Mongolia. The yatak is the most popular traditional instrument among the female students of this school. The madugong is mostly played by men using bows. However, the yatak produces beautiful sounds with hand motions. One student has come from Ne Mongol just to learn how to play the yatak. Gar orang naik ko kau yang rektal, 
Тэгэл ятгачмаа болно гэж мөрөөд ч тоглолтдаг байсан. Тэгээд 11 настай ах. The Mongolian yatak technique is very unique. It is a technique that is very well suited for expressing Mongolian emotions. The Mongolian yatak technique consists mostly of scratches and touches. The result is a very feminine sound. Тэгэхээр хүнээр төсөөлсөн тийм үлгэр домог тэгээ ятхын өөрөө дугарж байгаа өнгө нэг зөөл нь намуухан тийм учраас эмгтэй хүнд их цогцсон хөгжим гэж боддог. Korea has become closer to Mongolia and the street has been named after Seoul in Ulaanbaatar. The Mongolian yatak has found a new friend. Professor Pa sang a Yatak player, visits a Korean teacher twice a week. She is always busy with lectures and performances, but she has been making time to learn Korean for the past year. Her goal is to continue her studies at a graduate school in Korea. That's why she is studying Korean to better her reading and writing skills. Why <laughs> she first encountered the Korean Kayagum when she went to Korea in 2005. <laughs> Нэг гой зэвэрхэн тэгээд бас нэг надад яга солонгосын дээр ер нь ятгаж солонгосын хөгжмөд мэд төр гарч байгаа хүн гав нь маш цэвэр тод хэн хүнийх нь сэтгэлийнх нь гүнээс бүр нэг цаанаас нэг тийм нэг нэг их гой аялах уу гард тийм За энэ болохоор яг манай Монголын 21 удаастай ятах аа За энэ ятга болохоор их учиртай ятах байгаа солонгосын гаягам a Korean friend gave her a 12-string Korean kayagum as a present. She can feel its purity just by looking at it. There are many Korean kayagum songs that she wants to learn. Bianchi Huang at in Uro Yatchon Humbel, Hitihum, to get the Uro Yatra, Doctor Nasan Lundra, and Yatama sent out to get in the Hot Ministry. Ask or some button, to get Ahin who needs Hot Ned, Sansom for a industrial machine or home. She enjoys copying out musical scores of Chim Yang Mu while thinking about the music. Тэр нь ер нь яагаад тэр их гоё аваа гарч байна яагаад тэнгэж гарч байна ер нь гэдгийг тэр тоглолт тэр гарч байгаа тэр онгоо нь миний сонирхлыг маш их татсан би өөрөө хөжимчин хуучраас тэгээ тэр бүгдийг би өөрөө сурахыг одоо маш их хүсч мөрөдөж байна да Let's hope that she can fulfill her dream in the near future She is giving us a preview of her aspirations while playing the Adidang song on a 12-string Korean kayagum. This is the National Theatre in Seoul. Yatak player Otto Kungtoya has been living in Seoul for the past six months and has been coming here every day. Hello. 
Han Hyang Hee, the Gayagum player of the National Traditional Music Orchestra, is the first one to greet her. Otto Kung Toya is learning to play the Korean Gayagum as a guest of the National Theatre's Asian Culture Partner Program. The Korean Kayagum and Mongolian Yatak are like siblings with different characteristics. That is why more concentration is required. For the Yatak, the right hand technique is more developed. The right hand technique is a little different than the Korean technique. The basic technique of pulling and bouncing is the same for the Yatak as the Kayagum. However, the order of the fingers is different for double bouncing. For tremolo reproduction, the Kayagum uses bouncing, while the Yatak uses scratching. The playing methods of the Kayagum and Yatak are similar in some ways and different in others. When two players performed the song Toraji using their own methods, the sound became richer. It is probably because the two different methods complement each other. A few days later, Ata Kung Toya goes on a special trip. She is visiting a workshop in Koryang, Hyeongsangbukdo, the home of the Gayagum. 건조 가정입니다, 이게. 예, 이거 이제 저희 악기를 이제 가야금을 Mongolian Yatak players use instruments imported from North Korea or China. That is why Otukung Toya has always been interested in the Korean manufacturing process. A gayagum is made with wood that has been dried for 5 years. 예, 다 재료가 다 틀려요, 나무마다. 예. 안쪽 같은 경우는 약간 강하면서 부드러울 나무를 쓰고요. 이 울림통이 원 가야금 소리가 나는 거는 좀 소리가 연하게 연한 나무로 해야지 울림이 좋기 때문에 오동 나무를 많이 쓰고 있어요. 